The Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University is the oldest graduate school in the United States focused on international affairs. Students come from over 50 countries for a multidisciplinary training that will prepare them to serve as international leaders around the world. One way that students and faculty at Fletcher are working to advance the field is through their work at the intersection of religion and international relations. In 2015, students founded the Religion, Law, and Diplomacy Initiative. The purpose of this initiative is to raise awareness about the need for religious literacy in IR and to highlight the complex and significant roles that religions play in the international sphere. Students of international relations are concerned with better understanding the world around them so that they are able to work effectively in a number of fields. This work may include promoting national interests through diplomacy and security operations, building cross-border businesses and equitable global trade, designing effective humanitarian and development programming that mitigates suffering around the world, and promoting sustainable peace through conflict resolution, international negotiation, human security, and law. Students and faculty working on this initiative believe that developing religious literacy will enable students undertaking all of these pursuits to better serve the religiously pluralistic communities that they will work in. The 2017 RLD conference was titled Approaching Religious Literacy in International Affairs. Speakers included inspiring religious peace builders, pragmatic security professionals, culturally aware business leaders, and cutting edge academics who engage with case studies exploring the necessity of religious literacy in their various fields. Professor Diane L. Moore, the director of the Religious Literacy Project at Harvard University, opened the conference with an introduction to religious literacy as, quote, the ability to discern and analyze the fundamental intersections of religion, politics, and cultural life through multiple lenses. A panel on the importance of religious literacy and conflict resolution focused on the conflict in Yemen. Sheikh Abdurrahman Al Marwani, a peace builder from Yemen, participated in the panel via video. Al Marwani talked about his conflict resolution work intervening through social dialogue and using religion to formulate a sense of unity. Darko Mochibob, Deputy Director of the Middle East and West Asia Division at UN Headquarters, expressed the necessity of understanding, but not overemphasizing, the power of religion in conflict. A panel on international business discussed the practicality of religious literacy training in global business operations. Brian Grimm, the president and founder of the Religious Freedom and Business Foundation, explained that getting religious literacy and religious freedom right is good for business. Ibrahim Warde, professor of international finance at the Fletcher School, told us that Islamic finance contributes around $3 trillion to the world economy and discussed the implications of its ethical framework on national and global finance. Distinguished 1988 Fletcher alumni Sean Callahan, the president and CEO of Catholic Relief Services, delivered a keynote address about the importance of trust and values in humanitarian work and the capacity for convocation held by religious communities around the world. Callahan stressed the importance of humanitarian partnerships guided by the means and methods of local communities. A panel on the importance of religious literacy in security operations focused on security concerns in the Balkans. Dr. Elizabeth Pedromo, Fletcher professor and the faculty advisor for the RLD initiative, offered the example of the Dayton Accords as a consequence of religious illiteracy in security operations. Colonel Robert Hamilton of the U.S. Army War College explained that many conflicts, like the Yugoslav Wars, originate from nationalist movements, and as they escalate, they begin to involve religious identity in order to intensify divisions. Looking to the future, Sonia Licht, the president of the Belgrade Fund for Political Excellence, hopes the issues which have plagued the Balkans could truly be assets in the future. As conflict fades into the past, the memories of factionalism can be replaced with a strength emanating from cultural and religious diversity. The 2017 conference was a tremendous success, with rich and complex discussions and over 300 attendees. The conference not only connected innovative scholars and practitioners, but sparked new conversations among Fletcher students, faculty, and staff. The conference was made possible thanks to generous support from the Henry Luce Foundation, as well as sponsorship from departments and institutes at the Fletcher School and Tufts University. This annual conference is followed by a spring speaker series. We hope you will join us.